Hi, this is Tammy with Debbie Tammy Creations, and I just finished oxidizing several pieces that I made this week and thought that I would show you how I polish them after I oxidize them. So I get these pads. These are Beadsmith Shine Right Polish um, Pack of 50, and you just cut them in half, and um, they work really well. So what I do after I finish oxidizing, you can see like these balls or beads did not quite get completely, um, I mean, I, I use the steel wool at the sink under water after I oxidized, but they didn't get completely um, cleaned off. So I like to go over them with these pads and it makes them much shinier and they just look really nice so i go over all the wires and you can see how it's coming off on the pad there um so just continue doing that and it takes uh really uses up quite a bit of the pad but i can probably do oh i don't know four pieces with one pad maybe more um just try to get the back as well and the sides like that. And then what I do once I'm finished polishing, um, and I just wanted to point out too, on this one, as I was making it, I realized it was off center. So I was just gonna put these three beads on the front, but they kind of ended up being over that way so I decided to make this side, to build this side up a bit more to balance it out. And I don't think you think about it being, you know, off center so much. So it, it's obviously not a symmetrical piece, but I think it, it balanced it out just fine. So um, sometimes as you make things, you have to either start over if, if you don't, if you do want it symmetrical or, um, just build up the other side of it to make it balance. Okay, so then what I often do is I use this Protecta Clear, and this is a liquid, and I use a little tiny brush like this. I got, I don't know, maybe 50 of these for a few bucks. They're just cheap, and um, after you open this, I just dip it in. I usually get a paper towel or something to set it on. And I just brush over the wire with this, like this, and, um, and on the back as well. And that helps when people are maybe allergic to the wire. I think that um, it, it says it makes it hypoallergenic, but um, it also kind of protects it from further tarnishing. However, if I don't always do that, I do give my customers one of these pink polishing pads. Uh, let's see if I've got the container, the thing they came in. Yeah, here it is. These are from Seven Well, 50 piece jewelry cleaner, small polishing cloth, eight by eight centimeters. I don't know how, um, where I got, I think I got them on Amazon. So seven well, if you look that up, you'd probably be able to find them. But I give these to each of my customers and um, let them know that if it starts to tarnish, they can use this to keep it clean. So I hope that was helpful and I hope you all have a great weekend. Thanks, bye.